As some of you know might know, I am a certification junkie. Yeah, I, I just love to get certified. I, I have five CCIEs to my name. I have a CCIE in enterprise, service provider, data center security, and also a CCDE, right? And a bunch of other things. But hey, I'm not here to just uh, show off. <laughs> I'm just here to tell you that you can also achieve any kind of certificate that you want and you can keep on achieving more and more. So why not just start right away? As I said, in the previous video, the ENCC is going to be your next target. I'm here to help you achieve this certificate. I'm, let me just be clear. I'm going to help you achieve it. It does not mean that I'm going to be teaching the entire ENCC multi-cloud certification from scratch. However, I'm going to put you on the track. I'm going to assist you through the key points video series to just pursue this certification. If you want to dive deeper and if you want to have the proper full training, then you want to log into Cisco U and subscribe to that very course, the NCC, in order to get the full training. But hey, why not to avail something for free from the Key Points series and start your certification journey? The ENCC, of course. Oh, uh, well, you got me excited. So why not to just jump to the ENCC certificate itself and see what we are about to learn? Okay, here we go. So if you log into learning network, this is going to come right here, learning network, this is going to come and then start uh, typing in the search uh, ENCC. Okay, this is going to be your certificate. This is going to be your exam topics right here. It's going to break it down into five major sections, as you can see them over here, one, two, three, four, five with percentage. Okay, this is the percentage of each section in that exam. But hey, what if I wanted to get more information? Well, you just Browse a little bit down, a little bit here, and then download complete list of ENCC exam topics in a PDF format, which is right over here. All right, okay, here we go. So what exactly it is? It is the Designing and Implementing Cloud Connectivity Version 1 Exam Code 30440. And, okay, well, guess what? Five different sections right here. Five sections. All right, but before we just dive into the five sections, I want to tell you this. This is a specialist certification, which is going to help you achieve the CCNP enterprise certificate. If you've decided that you want to go for the enterprise on core exam first, then you want to go to this certificate, then you complete your CCNP certificate or vice versa. Maybe you want to go for the ENCC first, then the on core. Again, it doesn't matter which one you start with. The bottom line is the two exams will give you the CCNP certificate. Cool. So you said, Ahmed, this is going to be getting you connected to the cloud. So how do we actually get connected to the cloud? It's divided in five major sections, as I said. First, the architecture. Okay, the architecture models. Uh, in general, like how do we get connected? Well, the answer is going to be a couple of things. Uh, two ways. Either using an IPsec tunnel, building an IPsec tunnel from your router till the cloud, or maybe you're going to use uh, Cisco Cat Catalyst SD-WAN. Oh, where exactly I'm headed to? Well, you're actually headed to different cloud providers, the most famous cloud service providers such as Microsoft or Amazon and Google. If you're talking about Amazon, we have the AWS or Microsoft Azure or Google GCP. All are the options that are, you know, these are the different cloud providers that you are willing to get connected to. Okay, well, maybe you want to also describe the connectivity to SaaS cloud providers, whether you want to just go for a DIA, direct internet access, or maybe the SaaS connectivity via centralized internet gateway. These are the different topics that will be there in the architecture models. You want to also be able to, you want to be able to design, okay, design that cloud connectivity. All right, well, uh, the resilience, high availability, SLA, uh, quality of service, bandwidth, or, you know, these are the designing parameters when you're about to design that connectivity. Let's not forget the regulatory compliance as well, the NIST and the ISO. These are all the requirements that you need to follow when you're just trying to get connected there. Uh, how about practically getting connected to the cloud? Forget about the design, forget about the, the model. Okay, well, here is your 25% of the exam, which is going to rely on the IPsec connectivity. You're going to master the IPsec connectivity from your, SD, uh, from your uh, Cisco router, your Cisco router, which is running iOS XE, and you want to just do that using IPsec tunnels. Okay, so how to build a tunnel, how to configure it, how to troubleshoot. This is all going to be right here in this 
public cloud connectivity using IPsec. All right, well, how about if I wanted to just get connected using SD-WAN? Another 25% right here. You can get connected to those different providers using SD-WAN, Catalyst SD-WAN, of course, and you're gonna configure it from the vManage. Easy, simple configuration from the vManage, which is gonna guarantee and give you lots of features and benefits from the very exact single pane of glass, the vManage, just getting you directed to the cloud. And then in the end, 20% for operation and troubleshoot, not just configure, but also if something goes south or something just gets broken down, you're gonna have to be able to fix it. So operation here is all about diagnosing the issues that might happen from, you know, from within the router that is using IPsec tunnel, natively using iOS XE, or maybe if you're just you know using SD-WAN, so how about just diagnosing that SD-WAN connection and there's going to be OSPF, there's going to be some kind of BGP, there's going to be some kind of uh, policies that you want to troubleshoot. All of this, these are all the different topics that will help you achieve that. So look at the percentages. Look at the percentages. I'm going to go back here, right here, where you can see the percentages are right here. 15% for the architecture model, another 15 for the design, 25 for the IPsec, another 25 for SD-WAN, and 24 troubleshooting. Personally speaking, my advice if you focus mainly on Cisco Catalyst SD-WAN, this is going to give you more than 50%. Well, wait a second, Ahmed. I can see that SD-WAN is only 25%. No. The 25% right here is just SD-WAN. But hey, when you dig into the architecture model, the 15% here, it also includes SD-WAN. When we talk about the design right here, 15%, part of the 15% is also going to have some SD-WAN. When you're troubleshooting, even if you're troubleshooting the fifth track right here, the fifth, uh, you know, uh, section, that is troubleshooting and diagnosing, but there is also troubleshooting and diagnosing from the point of view of SD-WAN. So what do you want to see here? If you master SD-WAN, if you dive deeper in SD-WAN, you're also going to be able to achieve this certificate. Oh, okay. Well, that's a good thing. So the key point for today is that we are going to be learning together the designing and implementing cloud connectivity ENCC exam code 30440. And again, I'm being honest here. It's not the complete training through the YouTube channel right here in key points. I'm only putting you on the path. I'm putting you on the track where you can start a journey. I'm touching base on that on those most important key points that will help you learn the ENCC. Okay, mainly my key point here is that if you know how to get connected, which is either by an IPsec tunnel or using Catalyst, Cisco Catalyst SD-WAN, you are actually guaranteeing yourself that you know more about this certificate and you're going to get ready for the exam. And how much exactly does the Catalyst SD-WAN make up? It makes up more than 50% of your ENC certificate. So if you digest and understand Cisco Catalyst SD-WAN very well, I'm telling you, this is my own percentage over here. You're getting more than 50%. You're getting ready to this certificate more than 50%. Okay, well, that's good. Let's just do it. Exactly. This is what's going to happen starting from the very next episode. So stay tuned and keep watching, keep learning. Hit the like button, subscribe, and let's start this ENCC journey. Bye.